Alright guys, so this is going to be my last box from all of the free kind of Christmas themed mystery boxes that I had found alongside the curb in a uh, curb alert. So as I see, this is my last one. I'm excited to go through this because I've been kind of just holding on to everything that I found and I'm going to start lotting stuff up and um, getting it listed on eBay. So uh, this box here wasn't actually like wrapped in any kind of Christmas wrapping paper, but it is just an older like kind of fruit of the month club box. And um, so we're just going to open it up and go through it and see what's inside. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying these videos. I'm sad this is my last one, but um, it is what it is. So let's take a look at what is in here so right off the bat i've actually seen some easter stuff but i am also seeing some christmas things and as you guys have um seen if you've been watching these other ones a lot of the stuff that i'm finding is all like really nice well-made handmade items so we're just gonna start going through this one it seems like it's packed pretty full so uh let's just start with this easter bunny guy here he's just made of like a metal tin <laughs> it looks like maybe someone paid 50 cents for him possibly at a yard sale and then we also have another easter bunny here this one's wrapped in a ziploc baggie it's a little bit of a smaller one they're kind of like 3d almost like they're definitely like bubbled up there so we got two of those all right, let's look at these beautiful sequined um, Christmas. Okay, I'm, oh my gosh. Okay, I was really confused. I thought this piece was like stuck on here, maybe by accident, but there's a hole here. Is this a light switch cover? It's a little odd. It looks like slightly odd because to me, this doesn't seem like it belongs because it's hiding Santa's face slightly, but oh, Michelle, Michelle. Okay, sometimes it takes me a little while to understand things. I am noticing now his hand up here is holding the lantern, but yeah, I'm seriously thinking maybe this is a light switch cover. And then here I'm noticing is another one. How cute is that? Those are so adorable and they were definitely handmade. Beautiful, just little sequins on there. Those are so cute. I wonder if there's any more of them in there. I've never seen something like that, a light switch cover like that. Okay, so we have a little wooden reindeer and it does have a little hang, hanging string so you can hang him up. What are these things? We just have a baggie of these long wooden beads. So you can use them for any kind of like crafting purposes. So a whole little baggie of those. We have a little Santa, just like window kind of hanging. It's got the um, little piece there to just pop it onto the window. I think there was one similar to that in another of the boxes that I had gone through. We have a Christmas bulb here. It says Christmas 1978. The wonderful meaning of Christmas is found in a mother's love. That's so precious. And on the top, it is marked Hallmark. So it is a Hallmark Christmas bulb. I'm also seeing another one here, so let's take a closer look at this one. This one says, Merry Christmas in your new home from 1980. And that's not marked Hallmark, so I'm not quite sure if it is or it's just kind of like a generic -y bulb. Here's just a little embroidered little hanging ornament it's got like some stuffing in it kind of like a pillow 
I don't think it opens or anything like that. It almost looks like a little shopping tote. <laughs> Um, here we got a pretty handmade ornament. Oh my goodness, it's got a kitty cat poking out the top. How cute is that? That's made of felt and these little sequins. Oh my gosh, that's absolutely adorable. Absolutely adorable. Okay, here is another wooden piece. Looks like a little angel with a bow and just a little bit of like flowers this here is a candle and it appears like you could actually light that it is wax and there's a wick here at the top eric's playing video games so if you hear like weird noises in the background like clickings and stuff that's him there's another baggie of some wooden beads. These are just shaped differently. But they are like some nice like Christmassy colors with the red and stuff. So maybe that's why they had them in here. We got, um, is this a nut? This isn't a nutcracker. This looks like a, what you use to, ah, uh, That feels good on my hand because my hand kind of itches. <laughs> a um, meat tenderizer. That's the word I'm looking for. But it's got, it's decked out for Christmas. Looks like they actually purchased it somewhere for $2. At a store called Hess's? Hmm. Oh, nope. It was on clearance for a dollar. Is this another one? Yeah, we got another one here. This is a... What is that, guys? And this one was also on clearance for a dollar. Another little pillow kind of ornament. Looks like that. Almost reminds me of one of those things. What were those things back in the day in school where you'd like stick your fingers up underneath and do the little bloop, 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 bloop. And then after under each flap was something like a little fortune thing. This is just a baggie of um, little ornament hangers. Some green ones. Down here we have a clear bulb. Oh, this is like a honeycomb type pattern to it. And the little sticker I think just says made in Taiwan. There's another clear one. This reminds me of a seashell. So you could probably, in all honesty, like pop off the tops of these and like stick stuff in them, like tinsel or other little things, beads. There's a lot of baggies of stuff in here. So this baggie is some more wooden beads. They're all different kinds. These ones here are large, but they have kind of an indentation in them. And then here's some more wooden beads. So big green ones, and then these guys here have a really interesting shape as well. This baggie has some, are those glass beads? I'm going to open this one just to look at it a little more in depth. Because I'm curious as to what exactly... That big thing is in there. Is that seriously like a big bead? Is that a big bead? Because that is really large. Very, very large there. But it's definitely glass.
Oh my goodness. There's a glass teddy bear in here, but he also has a hole in him. Like he'd be a big bead. You know what? I think these were for um, those macrame, like the hanging planters, um, these big ones, because I bought one of those vintage uh, macrame hanging planters at a yard sale, and there were these big beaded owls in the yarn, the string. So I'm thinking maybe that's what these were possibly for at one point. There's only one teddy bear, this just regular kind of circular bead shape. And then there, the rest were these um, just circular kind of beads. But they are glass and they have like a speckled type of pattern to them. This little baggie has... We're going to have to open it because I can't entirely tell for certain. They are like little glass um like rocks like stones like decorative stones just different colored ones there's more in the baggie i just kind of poured some out into my hand so like like with these you could look at my hands <laughs> dirty you could probably like pop open a clear ornament and like stick some of those in as little decorative pieces. Here's some more big wooden beads. These ones look like they're hand painted. This one looks like a mushroom that hadn't been painted yet. This one has a pretty butterfly. Oh, I think they're all butterflies painted on them, yeah. Well, some of them, not all of them. Some of them are plain. Oh wow, these are heavy. It's this big cluster of grapes. But they are made of like a, I wanna say like maybe resin. Look, there's two of them. One slightly larger than the other. Those are so nice. And even the bottoms have like this really nice like felt to them. So if you are sitting them somewhere, they're not gonna like scratch up. Um, the tabletop or whatever stand you have them displayed on. Those are so gorgeous. And they do. They look like they were handmade. I mean, someone like cut out these felt pieces on the bottom with like those decorative kind of scissored edge scissors and glued them on. These are really nice. And they're heavy. Oh, look, we got a magnet here. What's on it? Ooh, so pretty. So you could use this as a magnet or an ornament. Beautiful bowlingy sequins. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that. I see a carrot back here in this corner. Just a little carrot for a little Easter decoration. And here we have a, a bunny rabbit. A little ceramic bunny rabbit. Looks like he has a fishing rod with a fish that he caught on it and his little um, tail is actually like a pom-pom and someone put felt on the bottom of him too. <laughs> That's cute. So there were a couple little Easter things in here. So this baggie has some mini Easter um, little wooden ornaments in that would go on like a little mini Easter tree. I don't have an Easter tree. I have a little mini Halloween tree, but I don't have an Easter one. So those are really cute. Whole baggy full. Here we got a little green beaded wreath ornament. Looks like that. Here's a little stocking. And it feels like there's something in it, but I think... I'm thinking it's just like some paper, yeah, just some like paper to fill the toe, just to make it look a little more, you know, full, like it's stuffed with some goodies. 
I did in um, my other boxes see some other little ornaments like these. So there's two more in this box. I was kind of curious if I'd find other stuff that, you know, I was finding in other boxes. And I know I found uh, one of these candle huggers in another box, I believe. This one's of a little angel. So you just put like a taper candle in there and it looks like, you know, he's just hanging on to it. Here we got some more beads. These ones are still in their packaging. Looks like they were 43 cents called clay beads. So we got a pack of those. It looks like we have another pack over here. Yep. So those ones were never used. Here we have a little angel ornament. I think it's like a plastic material. I see a little easel over here. So you can just display a little miniature picture or something there if you wanted to. And then the leg does come out. That's cute. They have this, this box is lined in this foam. To help um, protect, I'm guessing, because there's a bunch of these ceramic figures over here. So let's take a closer look at these. So we got a little girl mailing out maybe a love letter in the mailbox. So what do these say on the bottom? These just say made in Hong Kong on the bottom. They are like, I would say... A plasticky material I don't know if I'd consider this like ceramic or anything they look like they're ceramic but I think they're more like a, a plasticky material so here we got a little boy maybe with some newspapers and a goose <laughs> these are really precious and then up oh, this one must be the pair to this one Got a little girl with her newspapers and another goose. Remind me of like Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> and then, oh, this one must be the pair to the girl with the letter. Because there's a boy with a letter as well. And then we have, okay, this one is um, ceramic. This is a bell. We have a little girl with some flowers. Oh, there's a doggy, or is that a cat on the back? It's a cat, um, kind of tugging at her uh, bow string. That's really cute. I don't see any markings on her. She's adorable. And I was kind of saving this box for last because I'm like, what's in here? You guys want to take a guess? I'm going to guess more beads. Um, it says Wine Brom Jewelers on the top of it. Da -da 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 -da! Yep, I think I was right. These look like they are um, maybe, I'm seeing some string in here. So I don't know if maybe like something was made and it broke and these were just put in there um, to reuse. Or maybe it was like a project that was started and not finished yet. So they're just like little clear just different little clear beads in there. So that is everything that was in this last mystery box. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Obviously, if I ever find <laughs> any more things like this in a curb alert of just like mystery boxes, I will pick them up and we'll go through them together. But I am going to go through now all of the ones that I opened and start putting together lots of things um, to list on eBay. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed them. You'll have to let me know what you thought of this one down in the comments, and I will see you next time.